je Malena Kubátová, NM chemistry professor at University of North Dakota. So let's extract some ions. Which My research is very of very investigative nature to understand chemicals which are around us in air, in biomass. Okay. 429, 418. My name's Keith Wohler. I'm in the chemistry department here at UND going for my master's in analytical chemistry. They're trying to take biomass, like waste from biomass, so like ethanol production, there's all this waste, and we're trying to take that waste and make it more useful. And did you do higher concentration or this is I the highest? This is the highest. My name is Anastasia and I'm going here for UND and I'm in a chemistry program. I'm trying to get my PhD in chemistry. I'm working on the analytical method development. It's really very hands-on. We are working in the lab every day. That's what we love. We love to do research. We love to put new questions and trying to look for the answers. Our students have to do projects from, I call it A to Z. It's not that just they do their research projects, but they have to set, set it up, they have to take care of their instrumentation, they don't have technicians to help them out. In our lab, as you can see with all the instrumentation, it's very technical, so I'm learning a lot of hands-on uh, technician skills. We need graduate students to complete our research projects. They are our manpower, they are strength. Grad school is stressful for anybody. And so she's been very helpful. She'll help you with time management or just how to organize yourself. And she's always there pushing you to keep going, keep going, you can do this. Now we're going to make it cold, very cold. What's really cool about the project, I'd say a third of our time is spent on outreach. I love to tell that chemistry is not that complicated as it seems to be. Chemistry is super interesting. It's all about colors, explosions, smells. It's about getting an idea how the world around us is working. If we can share it with those uh, young people around us, we can, uh, we can learn to communicate the science, we can also become better teachers.